Are you looking for a sustainable food source? Well, why not algae? That is what two artists came up with. Uh, artists Michael Burton and Michiko Nikita have come up with the algae culture symbiotic suit. So the algae grows in the tubes. It's fed by photosynthesis. You wear the tubes. You wear the tubes. Yep. You look like that in the tubes. And then the algae fed by photosynthesis, the light, and feeds you. on your carbon dioxide. And you on your carbon into dioxide. Into the so it's your, your symbiotic life form with the algae, much like um, what scientists who, whose science this is based on, Deborah McKenzie and Michael LePage, called plantimals, photosynthesis photosynthetic creatures. So creatures like lichen or sea slugs or even salamanders. They they subsist also on algae and the algae feeds off them. It's beautiful and not very tasty at all. Well, there's something to be done about that. <laughs> because in a uh, in an art piece that these guys made called the Algae Opera, an opera singer <laughs> festooned with algae tubes, used her lung capacity to feed the algae with carbon dioxide, producing higher quality algae. What? The new sonic enhancement of food no. means that different pitches and frequencies make the food taste either bitter or sweet. That sounds like a load of sh It's the most <laughs> nutballs scientific thing I've ever read ever. Okay, like before people thought that talking to plants would make them grow better. But I believe that was debunked when they found out that just Breathing Plants your don't carbon even have ears, dioxide. Obviously. Well, when you get close to it and talk or sing or what have you, you're expelling more carbon dioxide. That helps the plants grow. It's not your singing. They don't care. They can't care. So I call this opera a load of shit. Did you know they found that out because plants didn't respond to sign language? <laughs> Sometimes I want to punch you in the face. I'm uh, surprised it's not all the time. <laughs> so, so it um, tastes terrible, it tastes like awful seaweed filled with bad breath. <laughs> it's the future. <laughs> yes, but you could, you could flavor it perhaps, not with sound. Uh, it reminds me of that one episode of The Simpsons when they, they go, it's the Lord of the Flies episode, uh -huh. when they go to the island and they, just, they can't find food and then they discover the wild boars licking slime. And Lisa goes, that's the solution, guys. Slime, <laughs> we'll survive. And everybody looks around like, and they just kill the wild boar and eat it. And she goes, savages. And that's the end, and it's perfect. Mm -hmm. So, um. It's even better if you've read Lord of the Flies. I guess, yeah, it is. <laughs> I guess like in a future world where we're really low on food supplies, this could work. But right now, it's uh, just super gross. This is where you put the clip of Dune. Okay. <laughs> with the feeding water tubes all over. That could be your future or your now if you're an artist in the opera. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy.